today and I want to show you my split spade stick. I just bought it. I just removed the cellophane to save some time. And yes, it is sealed. It still is sealed. I just bought it yesterday. If you know, if you want to know where to buy it, uh, PM me. You might be able to. You might not. Just depends. And if I can, I'll reply and uh, tell you where. Because they don't sell them in stores anymore. The guy where I got this from, he told me that this was. He went right to David Blaine's house, got the box, and took it back to the shop. So, um, you might be able to order them, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, these are actually pretty cool cards. And yes, these are the original, the one and only Split Spades. And now, yeah, he got the last box. I don't know if that's true and that he went right to his store. But this is the last box in Split Spades. So, in a bit, we'll open it. Alright, so, um, let me just take you around the deck. Alright, so it says split spades, playing cards, very cool. Then it says linoid, yeah, linoid finish made in US. Alright, and then it said the US Playing Card Company, Cincinnati, Ohio, and it has some numbers, but I don't know if you're really interested in that. And here's the back, quite nice. Now, Let's get on what I've been waiting for for a couple of days now. Um, and let's open it. Okay. I've waited a while for this. And the price of it, it's a little costy because now these are the last ones. But I think it will be well worth it and you, you would be able to say... I got the split spades and they don't print them anymore. Woohoo! And um, that's going to be pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to finally open it. And got the deck of cards. Beautiful. Beautiful cards. My goodness gracious. Wow. So, first we got um, a card that says David Blaine because this is on David Blaine's cards. I got one gimmicked card. Not too excited, just one gimmicked card, but yeah. Um here and then it says Tally Ho. I guess these are the Tally Ho but split spade edition. Wow. Um, I was hoping that it would be a little better, but, you know. Oh, the Jokers are pretty cool. Look at that. Sorry, the phone's ringing. Um, but that's funny that it says Tally Ho. But anyways, it's still very cool. Very smooth. As you can see, this is a great, great fan. Um, once you touch them and then very good. Whoops. These are quite new, so, yeah, they look very nice. So let's get um, on over and see the cards. So the Ace of Spades is the exact same one as the Tally Ho, okay? And um, these are the cards, regular, nothing too exciting about them. thought they would be a little better, but, you know... For, I bought this for $20, okay, 20 bucks. so, I don't know if it was worth it, but these are, they're not, they're not printing them anymore, so, that's pretty cool. Now, the split spades, here's the back, okay, so it seems like there's some lady or something, and then there's the spades, I think the backing's really nice. You know, if I were to rate this, maybe I would rate it, hmm, maybe generally probably a 3 out of 5. Okay, no offense David Blaine, sorry, I thought these would be so much better, but no. And I've been waiting for a day to open them, and then I just see them like this, and it just says, tally home. Yes, I know these are cool cards. Yes, they are. And 
you know, I guess some of it was worth it, but you know, it's okay. He thought maybe a little better. But, you know, the handling of the cards is really good. Um, now, um, dribbling the cards, pretty good. Alright. You can cut them well. Shuffle. Now these I only will use for special occasion because once again, these are the split spades, but it's pretty cool. I like that they have a card that says David Blaine, just one of the split spades, and then they have a gimmick card. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool, but for gimmick cards, I think they only come like one, one or two per like pack, I guess. Um, just depending what kind of cards, but the ones that are very good are like, you know, the green deck, turquoise deck, you know, that kind. Uh, I have a green deck. I got probably like four gimmick cards in there. It was pretty good. Um, but I got them for $8, so that means two for 16, which means eight gimmick cards in total, um, in the two packs. But, very cool, nevertheless. Um... Um, the Joker, I really like the Joker. It says liar. I don't know if you can read that. Liar. That's why I think it, it's red. But, you know, these are pretty cool cards. To know that they're not printing them, and they're pretty cool now. I'm probably only going to use these cards on a special occasion. Um, maybe I thought the ace would be pretty cool that they would do some kind of special split spade ace, but no, they just use a tally ho ace. A little upset about that, but, um, if you want to know, if you're just a big fanatic of David Blaine, and you really want to get these cards, then please PM me, or if I get a lot, then, um, I will in the next video tell everybody where I got these. Now you might might not be able to um, because of reasons um, and yeah but you for the most part you should be able to. Um, maybe this isn't the only place whoops, um, that you could get these cards. Maybe there's another place. Don't know. But yeah, um, then I also will do a deck review on um, the Centurions, yeah, the Centurions deck. Um, because when I went to this place, well, I also got a Centurions. And then there were also the Sentinels, I was kind of upset about that, but oh well. But yeah, now the only David Blaine Split Spades cards... They're not the original, and usually they're probably the Gaff, uh, the marked decks. But this one is not marked, as you can see. And I can't even read anything on it. If there was something, yep, there's nothing. So it's it's pretty cool. You can shuffle it. Whoops, didn't do a nice one. Um, you can shuffle it really well. The handling's is amazing, but. For face cards, if I were to rate it, 3 out of 5. The Joker takes it is really good, and that what makes it a 3 out of 5. Now, the handling of the deck, of the things that you can do with it, 5 out of 5. It's flawless. I mean, it's very, very good. Now, and then you can do cuts. Well, it's not like it's so slippery to the point that it's the cards fall off or that might just be me but um the cards are phenomenal as they are but i really pay attention more to the handlings and to the face because it's not like all the time that you're looking at the face cards okay but anyways um this was basically the unboxing of the david blaine split spades card so again if you want to know where I got these please PM me and if I can I'll uh, get back to you 
and uh, hopefully today I will be uploading some more videos um, but maybe not because um, yeah maybe I have something else to do but I would like to upload more videos but anyways uh, thank you very much uh, thank you for watching the unboxing of the split spades cards any questions uh, PM me and I'll be free to answer them uh, thank you very much and uh, see you next time